In this panel tutorial, I want to share a progression that I heard in one of PJ Morton's songs. And this progression is originally in the key of F sharp major. I'm going to show it in this key, but I want to teach it in the key of C major for those of us who are more comfortable with that key. That way we can visualize it better and be able to apply it to other songs and be able to apply the passing chords that are within this progression. So in F sharp major, um, we start on the three, right? And it sounds something like this. Right, so it's a, it's technically a four chord progression with a bunch of different passing chords in between the four chords, okay? So the four chords, just for, so we understand the concept, right? We have the three, the six, the two, and then the five. So let's move on to, to C major now. So let's say we are in C, right? We would start the progression on the three. In this case, the three is actually going to be a major, right? It's, it's sort of um, functioning as a secondary dominant. Then the next chord is going to be a six. Then the third chord is a two, which we actually voice um, in different ways, right? We can voice it as a major chord, right? D major, we can make it dominant, right? Or a D9. And the actual voicing used within the song, I think it's a D6-9, right? And then the last chord is a five chord, which is actually voiced as a as a five chord, okay? So we go three, six, two, five, okay? Now the progression sounds something like this in the key of C. Okay, so what are we doing in this progression? What is going on in between these chords right we started on the six and i'm uh, sorry on the three and the way i like thinking about it is we're basically just playing um a bunch of passing chords in between the chords right so we started on the three and we want to get to the six but what is used within this progression we actually use a bunch of half diminished chords right or diminished um Right, diminished seventh chord, sorry, not half diminished, diminished seventh chords. So we started off on the three, and then we basically play a melody, right? This melody right here, going from A flat to A, then to B. But once we play the B, we're actually going to play a whole chord with this, right? We're actually going to play this A flat diminished seventh which is one of the most, I guess you can call it diminished seventh um, or popular diminished seventh chords that can go before the A, right? Right, so how does it sound just from the three to the six? We basically play this. Now, this diminished chord, where does it come from? Like, how do we decide all these um, different notes. This is all dependent on the melody, right? But it all stems from this A flat diminished chord. As you can see, we're basically just changing the voicing by moving around the notes. We took this B, we placed it up here, we took this D, we placed it up here, and then we just doubled up on the F, we doubled up on the, on the A flat, which is also down here doubled up on the B up here, right? And that's how we get this voicing. And then we get to the A, or the A minor. And from here, we're basically playing the same passing chord to get to the D, whichever um, quality you want to apply to that D chord, right? So we're actually going to play this C sharp diminished seventh chord, right? Same concept. We want to get to the D minor, so we're going a half step below, forming this diminished seventh chord and voicing it differently, right? The E is up here, the G is up here. We're doubling up on the B flat, doubling up, doubling up on the, the D flat or C sharp, and same for the E. 
So this is the passing chord we use to get to the D chord, which in this case I'm actually going to voice as a D13 chord, right? It still has that dominant quality because we have the, the seventh, but we also have the ninth and the thirteenth down here, okay? So, so far we have Then the last chord is actually just a five chord, which we actually voice as a suspended chord, but not just any suspended chord, right? This is a G sus four. We're actually voicing it, voicing it as a G nine sus four, which an uh, easier way of thinking about it, or the way I think about it is, it's a combination of a G sus four in my left hand, and then simply an F major in my right hand, right? This F major is two half steps below the G. So we're just combining a, an F with the G, right? And the G is being a sus, okay? So once again, right, we can voice this D at however we want and then finish on the five. But this same progression, we can actually enhance it slightly by adding even more chords to those melodies that you heard in between right we had this melody da, 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 right these two notes are not playing um like with an actual chord yet we can actually include them in this same progression right we start off on the three and instead of just playing an a with the melody we can make it a chord right we can make it a d major over f sharp right so we use it as a passing chord to get to this A flat, right? Some people also prefer using diminished chords. For example, instead of playing a D, they actually voice it as an F sharp diminished seventh chord, right? You, you hear that in a lot of gospel songs. And then we can actually invert this A flat diminish by bringing it up to a B diminished seventh, right? I say invert because technically we have the same exact um, exact notes as as the A flat, right? We're just switching up the order, and then we land on the A minor. So I prefer using the D major. It just sounds better to my ears, right? Then we use the same exact concept when going from the A to the D. So A, then we use G major over B, then the diminished chord, invert it, get to the D, and finish on G, right? So But the, the whole purpose of playing these chords, right, is to get used to those passing chords because we can actually use them within songs that we already know. For example, um, the song And I rejoice today, right? It's a song, I've actually made a, a tutorial on this song before. But you can hear that progression within that song, right? We're getting from the three to the six, so we simply use the same progression. And, and then in this case, we want to get to the D minor, but we can actually use the C sharp diminished seventh chord that we figured out before, right? In this case, the voicing is changing, right? Before we had it like this, but in this case, I want to play like this just to comply with the melody of the song, which lands on this E, right? So. So hopefully you're able to learn something from this lesson. Um, feel free to leave any questions down below, any song requests or tutorial requests. Um, and hopefully I, I see you in the next video.